All right, let's smash the daily fibble. Fibble is the wordle game where it lies to you once a line. So we know that there's one tile in this guess that is a, that is the wrong color. So it could be the E. We might not have an E in the word, or we could have one of these other letters. Um, so I like to get five unique characters in off the bat and try and force some lies out of this thing. So I think point looks really good. Use two vowels, three really good consonants. See what this gives us. All right, so now all of a sudden we have four possible letters that could be in this in this word and we can use all four of them together and they can only lie to us once so we're gonna figure something out uh, I think tinge uses that uses all four letters and it gets a G involved which isn't an unbelievable letter to get involved but it feels good to me alright so we get the G which is a surprise and the E disappears and the N disappears so now we definitely know that we have a T and an I in the word for sure it's possible that the G could be lying here, the N could be lying here, and the E could be lying here. So we still might only have two letters in this word, but we know that we have a T and an I. We could have a G, we could have an N and an E. It's possible that any of those could be lying in this word. Um, e, N and E could be in, but then we would have to have a G, I, and T, which seems unlikely. I almost want to get more letters in. Let me think about what could use an I and a T and then some other words though. So if the G was the lie, the I would have to go here. So it could be something like witty, kitty, 50 is possible, diddy. There's kind of a lot of double T things. I don't like that really. I want to try and get as many letters in as I possibly can early. I'm going to go dirty. That, that's a guess that definitely could be true and gets a few new letters in. So let's give that a try. Okay, so we lose the T and we know that the T is in. So now we know the word ends in Y, which is very helpful. So because N disappeared here, we know that I and T have to be in the word because they were in the word when N did something differently. Right? We had an I and a T in, in this one. We don't know that the N is the lie here, but the N is definitely lying one of these two guesses and the T and the I were in both times. So now we know that T has to be the lie here, which tells us that everything else in this guess is true. So we definitely have an I, definitely have a Y. I think Witty and Kitty are looking really good now. I think I'm just going to go Witty and see what that does for us. Okay, it's, I think it's probably just Kitty. I think the Y is probably, I mean, we know there's a Y in the word. It's, so now we know it's I-T-T-Y. And it's Kitty, dude. And that's how you do it. We're just purring on them. We're meowing on them, dude. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.